Hey guys, John from OnlineLibertyLifestyle.com. Uh, today's video topic is how to deal with self-doubt. Um, I guess, first of all, what you need to realize is that everybody deals with self-doubt, no matter who you are. The most successful people in this world deal with self-doubt probably on at least a weekly basis. You know, no matter what they've achieved, you know, no matter what they've done, it always seems like it's not enough. I think that's just human nature. So you really do need to remind yourself of what you have accomplished, you know, and realize that if it's not enough, if it's not up to your standards, that that's a good thing. The, the last thing you want to be is content, content with what you have, with what you've achieved, okay? You know, don't put yourself down, but realize that what you have done is probably a lot more than you realize. So, you know, write down your achievements, realize what it is that you've done, and, uh, you know, make, make goals for yourself, take steps towards becoming who you want to be. And if you're scared to do it, just do it anyway. You won't have the power to do something until it's done, okay? Yes, you, you're struggling with self-doubt, you don't know if you can do this, if you can pay, post your Facebook ads, if people are going to click on them, if you're going to waste a ton of money on ads. But the thing is, you just won't know. You won't know until you do that data, until you get the results, until you see what people say. You can ask your friends, you can ask experts, and yes, they'll give you some advice, but you just don't know what the results are going to be until you try it out. So realize that you're just never going to know. You're never going to get over that self-doubt until you finally do that thing. And yes, you will fail. It's not a matter of if, but when. But if you learn from your mistakes, then that's how you succeed, you know. Success is just a matter of failing until you find out what you did wrong and how you can change that. So expect failure, um, but know that failure isn't going to make you doubt yourself more if you have the right mindset. It's actually gonna make you realize that you did end up having the courage to take flight. Another piece of advice I could give you is that if you're just dealing with your self-doubt too much, um, get out of that situation. You know, Step away from your workspace, get away from your desk, Go for a little jog, go for a little walk. Um, just have a release, you know. Whenever you move your body, you change your state of mind and you change what you're doing because you're physically moving. You know, it's kind of the idea of if you're on a long road trip and you need, you need to pee really badly, if you like squeeze your fist really hard, like it just takes all the pressure off your bladder. And so, you know, <laughs> if your bladder is full, if your mind is full of self-doubt, you know, get moving. Um, just release some endorphins. Get some exercise and, and realize that, you know, the situation, the problem is still there. But you can come back to it once you've had that, that break. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's, ca it's like a catharsis, okay? Another way to engage in catharsis is to just write down your issues. You know, if you have no one to talk to, you know, talk to a counselor, an advisor, or your friends or family or whatever. But in addition to that, or if you don't any have, if you don't have anyone like that in your life, write down your issues. Just write down on a piece of paper or on a Word document or whatever what it is that's bothering you. Why are you dealing with this self-doubt? Um, you know, kind of like psychoanalyze yourself, I suppose. Just write down what you think is the problem. And once you write it down, something about writing it down, um, just this stream of consciousness helps you realize what your own problem is. Because just thinking about it to yourself in your head isn't going to do it. It needs to be physically written down or typed. And I guess the last piece of advice I'll give you is just to slowly but surely remove all negativity from your life. Um, you know, whether that's the form of news, uh, friends or family telling you that you can't do this, you can't be an entrepreneur, you can't do your own thing, you can't start your own business. Just, you know, remove that negativity. Find people that are supportive. They, are, they do exist and they are out there. And realize that, 
you know, if you put yourself in the right environment with the right people, you will thrive and you will succeed and you'll have people to rely on. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, today is actually one of those days where I am struggling with a lot of self-doubt, you know, thinking to myself, can I do this? Is this worth it? You know, can I do it? But, you know, I know I can. It's just a matter of what steps I gonna, am I going to take today to reach my goal, to continuously think about my why. Why am I doing this? So, yeah. These videos are definitely helping me. You know, talking to a camera, talking to myself, talking to you all. Feels good. Feel encouraged. And uh, I appreciate you all. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.